It's sort of like being in a dysfunctional marriage, but if you divorce, you die. Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Lowe and welcome back to my channel. Now, for today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about my insulin pump. It actually took me a fairly long time to decide whether a pump was right for me. I had many concerns about whether me and it would be a good fit. Is that right? Anyway, um, <laughs> it's safe to say that since then, some of my worst fears have been realized. Ever since I put out my first video about my insulin pump, I've had literally hundreds of messages asking whether an insulin pump is the right way to go or whether it's even worth it. Well, the truth is that is really only something that you can decide for yourself. But I was thinking about what I could offer that could be helpful and something that would have really, really helped me is a, a sort of list that um, set out really the things that would have annoyed me about an insulin pump. Now, I think most of us know that an insulin pump can help you get better control. For example, I've greatly reduced the number of hypos that I have, but is that worth it for some? Especially for my viewers from other parts of the world, an insulin pump is not just a health-related decision, it's quite a big financial one too, and, a, and you know, a massive financial decision at that. So hopefully this video will answer some of the questions that you have about insulin pumps. But of course, if you have any more, then please ask away in the comments section below. And um, while you're there, why don't you make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you've thumbed up this video. Lately, you know, with lockdown two, I've been putting considerable effort into my Netflix watch list and I've been watching this show called Happy. And to cut a long story short, it's about a man trying to find his kidnapped daughter and his daughter's imaginary friend, a blue un unicorn called Happy, is helping him. So there's me watching the show and I'm seeing the relationship between the grumpy, alcoholic, former detective dad and the slightly annoying but well-meaning imaginary friend, Happy, the blue unicorn. And I'm beginning to see the similarities between the two main characters in the TV show and the two main characters in my life. And if you haven't worked out yet, I'm the grumpy old man and uh, my insulin pump is the imaginary friend. But don't tell my real imaginary friends about that. So before we get into too much detail, that's a really nice way to sum up how I'm feeling about my insulin pump right now. It's really useful, it's great at its job, but oh my God, God, can it be annoying sometimes. Now, back in 2017, I think it was, I was given the option of two pumps, the AccuCheck Insight or the Omnipod Dash. And when I first got my pump, I was really concerned about what it would actually look like on me. And I was really worried about looking like I was attached to a medical device. So I didn't feel like I could hide a pod as much as I could an insulin pump. What that means now is that I'm connected uh, by a tube to this, can you see it? <laughs> to that relatively heavy for its size medical device. Now this has caused me a few issues. Firstly, sleeping. I don't actually remember what it was like to be able to turn over in bed without having to drag an insulin pump with you, but it doesn't end there. I always start off with the best intentions and try to secure my pump in my pocket of my shorts or my pajamas, but give it half an hour and it will be under my leg or dig into my side, sometimes leaving quite a substantial bruise. So sleeping with the pump is something that I haven't cracked just yet. But I know you can get special devices and special things and attachments for your pajamas. I haven't got them yet though. I also have failed so far to have a consistent place to put the pump. Now, you're always told to change your sights for your cannula, and I do, but that means you don't always have a secure place to keep your pump. Every time I unexpectedly have to run for some reason, I have to grab hold of my pump, literally, because that's gonna be the first thing flying out of my pocket, and that can actually be quite painful depending where your pump site is. You know, if the pump leaves you, but you're still attached to it, that can get painful. 
Another place I find this particularly annoying is in the car. So nine times out of 10, my pump is in my pocket. It's not a perfect place to put it, but sometimes it's just the easiest. But depending on the type of trousers that I'm wearing and depending on how good my pockets are, I hear an all too annoying clunk as the pump slips out of my pocket and under my seat, which is when you're driving, not ideal. Now, before you get a pump, you'll likely be warned about how much effort a pump will actually require and the amount of maintenance that you'll be expected to do. And <laughs> despite your best efforts, sometimes things just don't work. So many times I've gone through the whole process of changing my cannula for it not to have worked properly. And if you're out and about and your blood sugar is beginning to rise because your cannula is bent or broken, there really isn't a lot you can do unless you bring everything with you all the time. And a final thing is the beeping and buzzing. Obviously there's a reason for it. If your pump needs your attention, it needs to let you know, but oh my God, God, does that get annoying in the way that it goes about it. So many times I've woken up hearing a hmm, 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 or a beep, a do 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 that's getting louder and louder. I'll feel like a buzz on my leg. Now, obviously that's not that annoying in itself, but if you can't get to your pump, immediately, for example, if you're driving or doing anything, which means that you can't immediately stop and direct your attention to your pump, then it will not stop. And I, I don't know what it is, maybe it's just me that gets progressively winded up, wound up by, by the pump and its noises, but it does, it really, really gets on my nerves. So there we go, that's what I wish that I knew before deciding to get an insulin pump. And I know that I've spent the last, I don't know, probably four to five minutes moaning, but with even all of that, an insulin pump for me is still worth it. But what do you think? Are you deciding to move to a pump or do you maybe have some more questions? Let me know in that comments box below, but that is, all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I do mean that. If you've got any questions about insulin pumps, you want to hear more about my experiences, then just let me know. That comments section is for you to use. And whilst you're down there, make sure you're liking this video and subscribing to my channel because that's the only way that you'll see my face again. Um, so I hope to see your face again back on my channel for another video sometime soon. Bye-bye for now.